Hey everybody and welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Toys Dark Knight Rises Bane. Taking a look at the accessories that you get with Bane, you get two slightly open palms, you get two fists, and you get two very large open palms. Just imagine that coming right at you, like whoosh, just slap you in your face. And you can see little veins and all the details on that. You get two gauntlets, back cowl, got little specks of rain in there, it's broken off, half a back cowl. And you get his v-neck sweater, a this season's must-have from Urban Refugee Outfitters. Okay, and then um, you get this rusty stand with his nameplate, Bane. I keep the plastic protect -iveness protector on it. It's rusty, it's got the bat symbol there. And then the little pronged uh, holder for his crotch. Taking a look at the detail on Bane, as you can see, they really got it accurate. It looks real. The mask, they got all the little details and lines on there. They got the scar and missing hairs off his right eyebrow, the wrinkles. They got the scars on his head. Everything done to the last detail. The eyes just look so scary real. Just, oh my god. And you can see we got the little vest with all the straps. The muscle underneath, the coat, his pants, he's got his little uh, knee pads there, his boots, they have a texture on them, I don't really know how to describe it, I guess you could just see for yourself, and the pants tuck into it because he's a hipster. I really, I re and here we got a cat. Just outstanding. They really outdid themselves on this. And from the prototype pictures, it just didn't look that great. But then they must have readjusted or remolded or redid something, but it just looks absolutely fantastic now. And here we have him with his coat off. He decided to stick around and stay a while. As you can see, very nice physique along the arms. You can see a little bit more of this stuff now with the coat off. Just outstanding. I cannot get over it. I know every review I do of a Hot Toys figure, I just gush about them, but that's because they're they're just so fucking good. Look at this. Oh, man. Good lord. We got the fists on him. Oh. Here we go again with him without the vest. Pretty good sculpt. They got the detail with the uh, scar going down the neck and into the back. You can see he's got some abs. He's got some nice small bean nipples. Not too bad. Could have been, I mean, he, he was more hulking in the movie. Like, if you look at it like this, it's just kind of like, oh, okay. But... Not too bad when he has his clothes on. Okay, so I'm like halfway through of getting this sweater on. It's pretty easy, but I just thought this little pose was funny because this is me most mornings realizing that the sweater I just put on is inside out. All right, so here he is in his V-neck sweater for the casual look in Bane. Days that he's not ruining the stock exchange, just kind of lounging around the house. Okay, so some quick advice for you guys. The, the vest comes off 
pretty, pretty easy. Sweatshirt goes on easy, it's cotton, it stretches, and then forms to his body. Vest going back on over this is just dick. I spent, I'm not lying, a good 30 to 45 minutes trying to get this shit going, trying to get that shit going, putting everything where it needed to be, and it just wasn't working out. And I'm sure, I mean, I know it does, but... Oh... Uh, it was just total ass. And I even had to, like, use a tweezers to get this stuff. So my advice is just leave the vest on, unless you really, really want to deal with this and have some spare time, and you want all of it. But otherwise, the vest is good. I don't even really like him in this. I don't know. Um, so that's just my advice. Leave the vest on. Period. Just leave that shit on. Overall, Bane is a really, really awesome figure. My only problems with it would be that just the whole dress-up thing about him. And sometimes taking off or putting on his coat, there's a little, like, pin and button thing here, and it comes undone, and it kind of like pop, not pops his collar, it's supposed to be pop, but like, it just kind of throws it off a little, I don't know if this is just me, or if other people have had this mistake, or issue, um, and like I said, just getting the whole vest on and off, I wish there, I, it was just made a little differently, so it came on and off easier. Other than that, no complaints, love the figure, love the stand, love the accessories, and this is how I'll be displaying him anyway, just ruling with his iron fist. Perfect detail. DX quality on a Movie Masters figure. He's in stock right now at SideshowCollectibles.com. Go pick him up. Go to Sideshow, don't go anywhere else. Um, just wonderful. But that's it for my video review of Bane. If you guys like what you saw, definitely subscribe for more video reviews of nerdery, comic book stuff. And uh, until next time, you guys take care. Thanks for watching.